Magistrates, oh magistrates, how the magistrates love to masturbate. The time of you was now when the ever-changing moment of daisy pants made you feel like you can't think anymore. The early days of gouging robes and jurisdictional white wigs really set the stage for a pretentious, you better than bow down to us type of an attitude. How dare you question the white pubic hair wigs? This was blasphemous in a world filled with blasphemed Negroes. I mean African-American. I mean African-African. The early forms of magistration came in the form of umbilical nightmares and overcompensated punishments. The initial courtroom setup looked like a birthing ship's last SS wet dream. This primitive setup would become the standard for born-to-run motherless fathers the entire Earth had always known were there. Sumerian people of that day began the first rudimentary law we have ever seen, but we really don't take those people seriously, so we shall move into more serious people, the ancient Egyptians. Codius Hammurabius was the preferred art law of the so-called primitive day. These codes were used to keep the slaves of the day in line, and also keep people with a moral compass that led them into uncharted immoral territory in line. The codes shed light on the need for order and justice in a world that was filled with blood, sacrifice, and organ eating. King Kufius Genitus was the first pecking order king of the day and was said to have enacted the first code punishment. Rumor has it that he made seven students of rhombus brains all take their clothes and point and laugh at each other's genitals whilst throwing heavy stones at each other's genitals in a battle royale of who would be the last man standing. The winner would be able to keep their freedom whilst the others would be subjected to damaged genitals and a lifelong servitude contract to Mr. Kufius himself. This was viewed as being much too inhumane, people of the day having to walk around with broken genitals and in bondage. This practice would eventually be thrown out. The same way you would throw out a used con. Enough of the vulgarity, Mr. Wayne Scott, a little self-control, you low-hanging fruit picker of the writing variety. Anyway, the ground rules were set with the initial code. Some of the practices of the early inklings of the world's first justice system definitely had its issues, but this was the first step in a series of judicial blunders that still plague us today. Oh, how I wish I was a pube wig wearing immune corrupted judge. Of course, I would be above the law like a good corrupt judge would be, but in the end, I would still have pubic hair on my corrupt head, so how dignified and cool would I truly be?